Okay, so now we are in Flame Core, pretty much. Ash Shadow, and this is pretty much a rehash or reskin of Sonic's Flame Core. It's, bas it's basically the same. It's not that it's not changed at all, pretty much. Because you know, Sonic goes second, it's laziness, and right here I'm supposed to go on the dash panel, but I didn't hit it for some reason. I, I'm not sure, but. I'm not gonna question it because you know this game and its logic. Oh boy. And. Well, that happened. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave deaths on this because this isn't gonna be that long of a video. It's gonna be about 13 minutes. 12 minutes and 53 seconds. Which isn't that bad, but. It's, yeah, it's not that long, but. Especially since I'm re recording this. Commentary wise, not video wise. Because I didn't like the commentary that turned out, but there we go, we got five rings. And let's actually try this again and bump into the walls, that way I can actually stop all my, mo all my momentum. And, you know, can't, can't fall off here because, you know, while that equals not technically not instant kill, but it can still hurt me and potentially kill me. Okay, so now we have this. And, let me attack you, let me attack you. Excellent. Dash panel and get that extra life because after what happened last time, I am going to need it. Holy crap, that was that was a mistake on my part. Well, technically it was the game's fault, but still. And I was actually kind of nervous right there because I thought that the fire was gonna spat out. And really, don't, don't question it, buddy. It's not go six. Anyways, uh, things I could talk about here is I guess I could talk about um, what happened earlier when I was coming home. So basically when I was coming home from work is basically I walked outside and it started snowing while the sun was out in April. I'm letting that sink in just because of how awkward and random it is. I'm letting that sink in. So that happened and I'm still surprised by that because it should not be snowing in April but then again I'm, I live in Wisconsin so it's not I'm not that surprised but I'm still kind of letting that sink in a little bit so that's pretty much that and basically I also have all of these videos edited I just have to do post commentary for some of them I have to post commentary for this one so 27, 28, uh, I think I got, I got 29 we rendered, 30, uh, 31, 32 I think, right here I have to do a bit of a video cut because I accidentally died unfortunately, well not died, I paused the game accidentally, because I thought I pressed the jump button, but that's the X button to jump, but Oh well, it's not. It was kind of my mistake. But, eh, thank God for editing though. Okay, so let me think. What else can I talk about here? I guess I could potentially talk about Sonic Boom getting a second season. Maybe. So basically, Sonic, the, if you have been living under a rock for the past since, I believe. When did that get leaked? I think it was Monday? Yeah, it was Monday. Basically, Sonic Boom may be getting a second TV show, or a second Boom. Yeah, I can't talk to it. The Sonic Boom TV show is going to be getting a second season. Maybe, but... According to the show's producer, Bill... I don't know how you pronounce his last name. Bill... Bill F, I'm gonna pronounce... I'm gonna say. Basically, said that it'll be 52 episodes long. And that, I believe, is the second longest... Uh, Sonic cartoon behind Sonic X because Sonic X had a pretty long, a pretty long run, and it's Sonic X. Yeah, Sonic X is actually going to get a re, a DVD re-release this coming year. I think it's either this year or next year. I think if, if my memory serves me correctly, it's next year, but. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that they're actually doing a re-release. But I guess it makes sense that they put all of the episodes on 3 discs on one box set. Because... 
to the pot of money in order to get all three locksmiths because I've had I did watch Sonic X back in God, 2005, I think. 2004, 2005. It's been so long since I've actually watched that. Good warn. But yeah, that's pretty much that. And okay, checkpoint here. And there's Sega and the people that made the uh, CGI cutscenes for Sonic Unleashed are actually making a Sonic movie, which is actually kind of surprising. Because there was technically a Sonic movie before, which was Sonic the Hedgehog OVA, or Sonic the Hedgehog movie, whichever abbreviation her, I'm going with Sonic the Hedgehog OVA because that, I believe that's what most people pronounce it as. So, yeah, and that. And basically, Sega is actually moving towards Hollywood, which makes sense since they're mo since Sega and Sony are making the movie that near. I believe in Hollywood or near Hollywood. I don't exactly remember, but that's gonna be interesting, especially since it's gonna be coming out on Sonic's 25th anniversary. I just hope it's not how Sonic 06 turned out because. Dear God, it's not go six. Oh boy. Okay, get those rings. And okay, so let's hit you. Hit you. And there we go. Of course I won't get hit because you know this game and it's programming. Okay, so now kinda wanna life be dash. Well, that could work, and I got hit. Okay then. Alright, so yeah, I wanna get that ring. Except what happened. Uh, go on the spring. Uh, let's see. Let's have you do that. And what? But stun the other one. There we go. And he's dead. Awesome. Okay, so now let's destroy, let's destroy these enemies just for points. Okay. And now we have to fully attack you. Oh god. Now I just hope I don't get hit by rocks. Okay, there we go, and next holding section. And now we are in the volcano. Like I said, this is basically carbon copied from the Sonic story because Shadows and Sonic's flame core is, like I said, it's pretty much. It's, it's basically the same, except, you know, character switches or character swaps. Between Sonic and Root, Sonic and Knuckles, and Shadow and Rouge, which is lazy on Sonic's Sonic Team's part and Sega's part rather. So there's that, and I'm trying to think what else I could talk about here. Grinding on rails, because that is a thing. Purple rails rather, and invincibility. I think I timed that. When I got the invincibility capsule. So yeah. That's pretty much about it. I'm trying to think what else I could talk about here. Um uh, I'm trying to think. Uh let's see. I haven't beaten Sonic Unleashed yet, unfortunately, because I'm still in the final boss. Because God the un the HD version of Sonic Unleashed. Oh my god, that game picks up in difficulty near the end. If Eggman Land is basically Sonic, uh, Sonic Unleashed's last story. So, that I have. That's probably gonna take me a while to beat, mainly because of the Sonic sections in uh, Dark Guy's Boss Phase 3. Because I've beaten two of them, but it's the third one that very, very strict on time. And I mean very, very strict. Because you don't... Because uh, Sonic Team doesn't, and Sega don't give you... They give you barely enough time to complete that. Which... Is all, which, which was already giving me a freaking headache, good lord. Okay. So now I'm gonna get those rings. Okay, so... Rings, let's kill you. Alright. 
Now let's get those rings, go over here, because it's a secret shortcut, which I don't believe was in Sonic Story. I don't recall. So now I have to do this section with Rouge. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so, net, so basically what to do here is basically have to use the Rouge's bombs in order to activate the light, which can be a little bit finicky, but it's not, not that bad if you know what you're doing. Okay, so let's go over here. So let's do that, and we're actually gonna hit, thanks game. So now let's go over here. And I guess I could talk about Proton John's stream that he had last night with Lugajin. So basically, Proton John had a short fortune cookie stream with Lugajin, who were actually dating Proton John and Lugajin are actually dating, which I'm kind of surprised. And that actually, I actually did that in one go. I'm actually very surprised. It normally takes me two or three attempts in order to do that. But I'll take it. And basically, all of this. Basically, we came with a fortune cookie with nothing but Barbie games. And I'm like, God help me. God help us all. Because, oh god. There was one YouTube user, or one Twitch user, I think, who was going, who was going insane because of all the Barbie games. And when John stepped out for the last game, he got chance, he got to, I think, two normal games with Joyce Transformers and don't remember the other one. And then we said whatever next game comes up is gonna be the last game we're picking and then Barbie Barbie's racing ride comes up and then I'm like Oh god Fortune Cookie is completely rigged. Right here I kinda got stuck a little bit mainly because of the camera. Because you know the wonky camera in this game. And thanks for playing when you get hit game. And I don't I don't know what happened there, that was weird. I'm not gonna question it. But anyways, there we go, Flame Core has been completed. And what did I get on that? I'm actually kinda curious. I gotta be not surprised since that's mostly my ranking in this LP. So now I'm gonna save here.